English, thank you. I don't speak Espanol, which basically means Spanish. I'm not reading this, by the way. So, actually, some of it I will read. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I'm Professor Ro um, yeah, My name is Rowan, I almost said Professor Rowan. We all know if he's. Yes, you're a Pokemon professor. Munchlax! For those who haven't seen my plush series, he's in my plush series. It's basically so much into food. And always hungry, by the way. And some people use their Pokemon to kill other people. Just kidding, that's not true. Unless you've read Creepypastas. Um. Um. You could go with the original. My name is Indie Rock. I would name him my friend that I've been like Black Yoshi G and Javanyan, but uh I'm just gonna keep it as Perry. Alright. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare oddly colored Pokemon in detection of a rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleeting to the crestfallen team. Oh no! That concludes our special report for a search for the Red Gyarados, brought to you by Jubilee TV and National Wide Net. See you next week on the same time, at the same channel. But anyway, now I can do my intro. What's up everyone? Sandy Rock here. And today I'm playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond for the first time. I actually managed to get this game when it came out. And basically they actually added it in the store this time. Unlike a certain other game. I'm talking to you, Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. But anyway. So yes, I'm playing this game. You, and if you don't know the gist of this, I played this game for about uh, about half an hour long, and then I'll just play it at my own time. So if I ever say at the end, like, see you or something, if I ever decide I want to end the video, I'll end the video. So let's just begin. And if some people have actually complained about the chibis, but I'm actually very much fine with them. What are you watching? Contest Digest. Or Digest. Uh, if that's Digest or Digest, I'm totally like, just like, in what? Okay. Don't go into the tall grass wild Pokemon might attack you. I'm pretty sure I can handle a wild Pokemon attacking me. For those who don't know, I haven't seen the OC vet a friend of mine made. Basically, I'm basically kind of like a bendy in the egg machine character. And I can handle, you know, getting attacked by a Pokemon. FUD! This music! 
like how they remastered it. What'd you forget? Hello, ma'am. I apparently just entered your house without knocking, so please excuse me. Yes, you'd better take a bag or a guide and a guidebook. It's a mostly a bag so you can carry stuff and a guidebook so you know exactly what to do because if you just go somewhere without knowing what to do, you're basically screwed. I ain't paying you a single penny, man. Woman, you need to tell your your son that I ain't paying him a single penny. You just accept saying if I'm late, I'll have to pay a 10 million you know, money fine. Okay, and he just bounces forward. I'm trying to like push him out the way. It's pretty entertaining. And also, I'll say it when I get it. Yes, um, it's a be on your merry way. Imagine if a wild Pokemon just came out and attacked us, we'd all be dead. Yikes! We're being attacked by birds! Oh no. Hmm, which... We have Turtwig. Chimchar. And Pip- or Piplup. I'm of course going with Piplup! Because that's what I chose for Flatnub. And, um... I have a very bad memory of Pokemon Flatnum, which I will say when it tells me do I want to nickname my Pokemon. Die, Starly. This game is actually looking pretty good, especially, but. A critical hit? Are you serious? Starly got a critical hit. <sighs> what do you think you are, Rainbow Dash? Thinking your tank is also powerful?
Yeah, we have to return some because basically we just stole them. Piplup and third twig. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to confiscate those Pokemon. They don't belong to you. Imagine if that was the dialogue that if I just skip that just imagine that was the dialogue. Okay, and then you had to return home and then the game ended there. <laughs> I could imagine that being a cutscene in this game. I can't believe you got attacked by Starly, and what even got a critical hit? Running shoes. Now I can run. Oh, hello, sir. Well, that's gonna be hard for those, especially right here. Oh, paddle. Hello again, Starly. Hopefully, you're not like the one that got a critical hit. And you must die now. Goodbye. When it won't kill you. This is going to take a while. Yeah, that Starly is not going to give up a fight. It keeps lowering my attack. Oh, and now you decide to attack. A little, little late for that. Okay, goodbye. Sorry if I don't talk much. Mostly because I'm trying to enjoy this stuff. Like, I'm just listening to music right now. Hmm, would I like to give the Piplup a nickname? Absolutely not. Now, for those who have followed me on Twitter, would have probably seen a SpongeBob meme that says, that, that goes to a story of where I nicknamed my P Piplup the letter I. And I don't 
like literally just the letter I, it was the worst name I could come up with. I was little at the time, so when I made, when I gave it that nickname too. So yeah, I am, I wasn't very smart. So I refuse to, I refuse to nickname my Pokemon. I've nicknamed my Pokemon before, like Lenork Midnight Form. I've nicknamed him, but some other Pokemon I refuse to nickname. Probably also one of the reasons why I don't do Nuzlocks in Pokemon games. Okay. Sure. If you hear any noise in the background, I apologize. Okay, teach me things. Okay. I think this is where I'll stop and this menu looks pretty good. I think I'll change save. This is where I'll stop so I'll play on my own time. So I'll see you guys then. See ya.